A U.S. Marine from Shreveport has been killed at war. A private swim lesson with an Olympic medalist that could save lives. I'm Casey Perrin. I'll have that story coming up in a live report. And hundreds rally against higher education cuts. The first to broadcast in HD in the Arklatex. On your side. This is KTBS 3 News at 5. Drowning is the second leading cause of accidental deaths in children ages 1 to 14, and one group of kids is more likely to drown than their peers. KTBS 3's Casey Ferran joins us live from the pool at Centenary College with more on this. And Casey, you have more startling numbers for us? I do, Sherry. Actually, 7 out of 10 African-American children do not know how to swim. It's a statistic from the USA Swimming Foundation. But today, some of those kids got a much-needed lesson from an Olympic swimmer. If they come from an African-American home, chances are never. A study by the University of Memphis found that nearly 70% of black kids have little or no swimming ability. The same is true for 58% of Hispanic kids. The Make a Splash with Cullen Jones initiative is working to break the stereotype that black people can't swim. Our own children, and me being African American, um, don't know how to swim and they're one of the leading causes of drownings. I felt like that's something as an African American I should change. The Olympic gold medal swimmer says the biggest reason black kids don't learn to swim is fear. Parents are afraid and then they transplant that kind of feeling onto their kids. and They kind of teach their kids that being in the water is almost like fire. Don't go near it. Don't touch it. It's, it's bad. It's a generational problem that Jones says was made even more evident in August when the Stuart Warner teens drowned in the Red River as their parents stood by helplessly. And when I heard about the incident, um, it, I mean, it was really hard on me. I mean, I, I, took, I take a really big beating on myself when I see situations where I feel like things could have been different. And this simple swim lesson could be life and death for these children. Now, Cullen says he nearly drowned when he was five years old, and a couple weeks later, his mom enrolled him in swim classes. And then in 2008, he became an Olympic gold medal swimmer. And Sherry, hopefully now he will be a role model to some of these kids that he met today. Sounds like he is. What an inspiring story. Thanks, Casey. The Stuart Warner Foundation in Shreveport is helping children learn how to swim. The Community Foundation is matching dollar for dollar to the foundation to support its work.